Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video about Apple product. We all know that MacBook these days are only getting thinner, lighter, and more powerful than ever. And yes, their external design looks very sleek, and that's because they've gotten rid of USB ports, display ports, SD card slots, and etc. And instead, they've provided us with these universal USB Type-C ports, which can do all of those things at once. In this video, we'll take a look at this budget 7-in-1 MacBook Pro adapter and its features. It costs about $30 to purchase, and I bought it from eBay about 3 months ago. And the million dollar question is that, does it work? Well, let's find out after the intro. Let's start with the design, build, and quality. It's made out of aluminium and feels pretty solid. You can't hear any moving parts when you shake it, although I don't know why anyone would ever do that. But if you try to pull those heads, you can hear small noise inside it, but it doesn't really affect the use of it at all. It doesn't have any brand names on it, so you can put any stickers you like and really show your personality. I just like to keep it simple for now. Moving on, let's take a look at the ports. It's got HDMI port which can do 4K video output at 30Hz, one Thunderbolt 3 port, one Type-C port, one full-size SD card slot, one micro SD card slot, and two USB 3.0 ports. The port selection is pretty decent. It's got pretty much everything the average user would ever need, but take a note that it doesn't have an Ethernet port, which is fine for me because I don't see myself using an Ethernet cable for this MacBook Pro anyway. But if you need an Ethernet port, you might need to buy another adapter or one that already has an Ethernet port built in. This particular one requires both of your Thunderbolt 3 ports on your Mac, and when you plug it in, you'll hear a satisfying click, and the blue lights will lit up. It sits about a millimeter high on the MacBook Pro, and the bottom doesn't really interfere with the table, even if I'm not using a case cover. Talking about the case cover, I had to cut the case on the left hand side to accommodate the space, otherwise the adapter just won't work as you can see on this right hand side over here. So now let's test the ports. These are USB 3.0 ports and they do work well. I can use both of the USB ports at the same time. In fact, you can use all 7 ports at the same time and it doesn't really get hot at all. Next, testing both SD slots. Also they work simultaneously and I can achieve a decent speed. Next is a USB Type-C port. You can't use this to charge your Mac, it's only a Type-C port. So I can use, uh, for example, my iPhone cable over here and it's working fine. Next is a Thunderbolt 3 port. It can be used to charge your Mac or use as a normal Type-C and it's working as well. Last one is the HDMI port. Now I don't have a 4K monitor to test the 4K 30Hz. But I've tested with my 1080p monitor and it can do 60Hz no problem. Some things to note though, you can still close your Mac when you have the adapter attached, that's no problem. You can carry your Mac anywhere with the adapter attached to it and that's no problem. Just be careful though, don't knock out the adapter and you should have no problem. So the adapter is working as it's supposed to be and has never failed me, which is great. So should you get it is the real question. Well, the decision is entirely up to you. I chose this because the adapter is quite small, no extending cables needed, and I can carry it almost anywhere. It's also cheap, it's working well, and looks quite decent. So it ticked all my checklists, so I bought it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you have a similar one of these? If so, what's your experiences like? Do you just prefer products from a trusted brand and good quality? Let me know in the comments too. And as always, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, or learn something from this video, hit that like button, I really appreciate that. And if you want to see more of uh, tech related videos, you can support the channel by hitting that big subscribe button, I very much appreciate that too. Anyway, stay safe and peace out.